Well, we went and looked at the truck. Uh, first, we we went to the the guy. Apparently, has a few lots, and um, uh, so the first place we went, uh, it had a bunch of uh, uh, old Ramblers and Nash Metropolitans, and then there was two uh, Ford Econoline pickups. There was an old Studebaker Champ that was in pretty good shape. Unfortunately, it was sold. Um, but uh, anyway, the guy gave us a call, and because uh, he said that he lived in the brick house across the street. Well, across the street from where we were at, there was a brick house. So uh, we thought we were in the right place. But he, you know, he didn't show up. Didn't show up, and um, uh, he gave us a call back, and he asked us where we were. You know, and you could hear my mom on the phone. You know, she said, we're down where all the Nashes and Ramblers are. And uh, he said, oh, that's our other lot. So we came down to the um, other place. His other place looked like he sold uh, enclosed trailers, kind of like ours here, you know, the white ones. They weren't that big, but he looked like he sold enclosed trailers. And um, he had a little antique store. And... Um, uh, then the, the vehicles were out front. So uh, we went out and, or we went over there, of course, and uh, we looked around in the store. And I took a video both at, uh, when we were looking at the Metropolitans and Ram, I can't say that, Metropolitans and, and uh, Ramblers, and then also when we were inside the store. So I'll include that in this clip. And, um, uh, Let's see. Uh, and I'll also include when we walked around in the store, I guess is what I was going to say. And um, so I'll probably put that in right now. Where? Oh, oh yeah. This is just so cool. Wow, that one's really pretty. Yeah, that's the clipper. That's what I thought. I like this truck over here. Yeah, I know. I'm just looking at it. Packard's cool. One owner, wow. <laughs> this is so cool. I mean, there's so many of these, you just kind of feel like you're back in the 50s. Yeah. I like this car. This has the Baltimore Colts sticker on it. From when from when they were in Baltimore. Before they ran away on the Mayflower truck over to Indianapolis. I love that Rambler. Yeah. Yeah, wow. There's a sticker on the dash that says size doesn't matter. <laughs> Old Crosley. Another Rambler. See those hubcaps that's on that Rambler? Mm -hmm. Those are real hard to find those hubcaps. Ramblers. Ramblers are. Uh-huh, right. 
so where are you? Okay. It kind of line. <laughs> Looks like it used to be turquoise, as you can see. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll head down there in just a minute then. Oh, all right, thank you. Bye-bye. It's like I'm here, I don't see you. Mm. This is one of their lots. Oh. This is a convertible one. Uh-huh. You said you didn't look at those, but the Studebaker's down here. If I don't find a truck, uh -huh. I want that red Rambler down there. <laughs> that is a car that I would drive. Here's a Metropolitan. Oh, this one's got the spoked wheels on it. Yeah. Or the spoked hubcaps on it. Yeah. And it's got cow interior in it. I see that. These are so amazing. Can you get parts from Um, enough people redo these Metropolitans mm -hmm. that you can actually. All right. Did you see the interior in the red one over here? The Rambler? I thought I did. I did. It's pretty. It looks like it's original. Up. Look at this side. Yeah, it's got some spots in it. Oh yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Look at that old oil can right there. Oh wow. Maytag. Multimotor oil. I bet there's some neat stuff in that place. There is... I looks like a Pontiac maybe. Old... Or early 40s Pont... Or... Not early, late 40s Pontiac in there. That's funny, he said he lives in the brick house across the street. There's three or two brick houses across the street. That, I, oh, that's so cool. That red Rambler. <laughs> that blue car there's real nice too, that student bank. Yeah, I think it might, I'm wondering if it's so nice. There it is, this one's on the right. Oh, that, that brick house with the giant rooster out front. <laughs> the Ford truck. Oh, Ford truck. Cub Cadet, old one. Mm -hmm. The old Maytag washer. Mm -hmm. That's cool. It works. We should, they, we should buy this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cow. <laughs> Amazing. Pretty bed, the headboard of that one. I'm going to the high water sign. Oh, that's a mailbox. That's cute. This is what I could get and hang all my hats on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at all the old Tonka trucks. They have your ringer over here. Yes, they do. Isn't that what you're looking for? Mm -hmm. I like this dresser. Yeah. I like this one too. Ooh, I really like this one. Mom, see can we get this one for my room? Yes. I like that. that. I'll make room for that. <laughs> the Roy Rogers guitar. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's cool. They're not for sale. No. Casper. Ernest Tub, I saw that. <laughs> it's 
on the brunette. Rex Allen. Wow. So then we went and looked at the truck, and um, the truck was cool. I really liked it. It um, and in the clip, don't blow away. In the uh, newspaper article, um, the truck looked gr uh, looked blue, but in the uh, in, in like real life, it was that forest green color that I like with the white. Uh, white grill and all that and um, uh, I started looking at it and it wasn't as nice as the ad made it sound here I'll, I'll read the description in the uh, ad here the description the wind quits blowing it says uh, this truck has uh, a very solid body which it did the body was very solid uh, little rust on the floorboards yeah it had it had quite a bit of rust on the floorboards it had enough rust on the floorboards that I could compare the floorboards to the side of this truck unfortunately that's how bad the uh, floor was you know it uh, didn't have great big holes in it like this but it uh, it was more like this here you know it had a bunch of little holes in it and um, uh, it wasn't in the underside of this of the Studebaker truck wasn't in any better shape than the uh, this fender here on uh, this truck, and the whole underside was like that. Uh, and so, it, you know, I was okay, you know, with it until I was okay with you know it being a little rough until I saw the the. The floor pan and it was like, the floor pan was toast. I don't have a good picture of it, but the floor pan was toast. And um, uh, we can find the floor pan on the internet, you know. I looked it up uh, while we were still there, and you could find a floor pan for it on the internet. But, um, uh, you know, we were kind of expecting something that you could just you know, drive home, and, um, maybe not all the way back from, uh, what was this place called, maybe not all the way back from Geneva to Walton, but, um, you know, like, we expected it to be a running driving truck, and he said that it ran and drove, and, um, because he saw the guy that owns it, uh, like I mentioned in the previous video, had some health issues, and he's actually dying of uh, throat cancer was it throat cancer I think he's I think the guy said throat cancer and um, uh, the, the guy that we were talking to was the son-in-law of the guy that actually owns all these trucks so anyway the rest of this ad for that truck um, is uh, you know it, it's believable and very accurate um, nice bed, good grill, good body parts, runs and drives. The only thing about this ad that I don't quite understand is a uh, little rust on floorboards. When I would read something that says little rust on floorboards, that would make me think that, okay, there's a little bit of rust. You know, there's not a whole lot. And that's pretty common with the Studebaker trucks of that year. But uh, this truck needed a whole new floor, you know, and rust doesn't bother me, you know, but, like, I want to feel like what I'm in is, um, like, the, the floor was crusty, bad, you know, and let me get back to what I was saying with, like, you can find the floor pans on the internet, but um, uh, and they're pretty reasonable. But it needed more than floor pans because some of the 
parts of the frame were bad, like where the cab mounts are on the cab. I didn't see this, but according to my mom, uh, she was looking under the truck. Uh, the mounts where the cab mounts to the frame, the cab mounts, of course, were rusted because of the, um, the uh, you know, uh, cab bottom of the cab being so bad. But the frame, I looked under it for a, uh, a little while. I didn't show it all in the video, but I looked under it for a while. And um, the, uh, the frame was bad. I think you could probably fix it. But, you know, that it was a project truck is what it was. Oh, wow. I like this one because it's green. The one in the magazine was blue. One of the magazines in better shape, but I like this one better. I wonder if this one runs. It's a 52. Well, this may be the one that was in the magazine. Yeah. I like I like this. I like it so much better now. Doesn't need any more work than that truck that Dad was trying to get us to buy, you know? I mean, it needs work, but... Oh, it, honey, the floorboards are totally... Body itself is yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but it's not any worse than that truck that Dad was talking about. But the chassis and frame, and it's got a busted bracket up here where the cab attaches to the chassis. See the Kaiser? That's cool. I mean, and you know, this doesn't say that it's not. Um, you know, he, it doesn't say that uh, it's not a project truck in here, but, you know, from the description, we were expecting it to be a little better than what it was. Um, now, the other cars in here, uh, the descriptions from what we could see made a lot of sense. Uh, the Packard Clipper, that was the uh, big fancy kind of teal looking, uh, teal colored car that we saw. It was That was a 46 Packard Clipper. And um, uh, it, it, everything on it is accurate. Uh, rust under the headlights, uh, runs and drives, good glass, good body, one owner, all original, okay, all of that looked accurate um, the 60 Rambler which was my favorite thing that we saw uh, other than of course the truck we went and looked at I like that better but the the Rambler was cool the red Rambler car has damage on front passenger yeah on front passenger door otherwise good car uh, good driver nice collector uh, or yeah nice cheap collector or project and if I wasn't, like, it's not just that I, like, want a truck, but kind of for the stuff I do, like, I go to lots of flea markets, and if I see stuff on the side of the road that's free, sometimes I'll stop and pick it up. So, I need a truck, you know, uh, um, as awesome as that Rambler was. I love that Rambler. And if I could afford to have a car and a truck, you know, starting out, 
I would have really been interested in getting that Rambler. But um, it just wasn't quite... It, 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 it didn't suit my need. Although I wanted it really bad, you know, it didn't suit my need. I, I don't just want a truck, but I need, I need a truck. And the other Studebaker truck, the Champ, it was kind of a peach color. Um, I went and looked at that. It, it had sold, or else we would have talked to the guy about that. That looked like a fairly decent truck. Actually, it looked like a... Compared to the Studebaker that we went and looked at, that Champ was really nice. But, uh, you know, that's what you get, uh, you know, looking in a, a magazine, and that's why you always go and look before you uh, buy it. You know, that's, I don't understand the people that buy a vehicle completely on the Internet without going and looking at it. Because, you know, had we bought that, you know, had we said we were going to buy that uh, just by the picture in the magazine, um, we, my dad probably wouldn't have been very happy. Because, I mean, I like the truck, and a lot, let me rephrase that, I really, really like the truck, and I would have done, you know, very minimal stuff to it, you know, just stuff that it needed. Like, I would have put, obviously, a floor pan in it, and, you know, it, it would have took a lot of uh, work. So, it ran, and the exterior body was fine, except for the under, under part of that cab was bad. And um, it, it was kind of sickening because, you know, Geneva was quite a ways away from Walton. And um, I was really excited about that truck, especially after seeing that one at the car show. But, um, uh, you know, I... Uh, you know, if I was, like had more time before, like, before I was, like, because I have my permit, you know, but I don't have my, like, actual license, and so, uh, when you have your permit, of course, you have to have somebody, you know, riding with you and all that, and, um, you know, so I, I have time before I'm out on my own with, you know, a vehicle and all that, but, uh, even with that being said, I'd like to find something and, you know, have it um, before, you know, I have my license. Uh, and that's why that a project really isn't what we're going for. I'm going to show it to my dad when he gets home. He's having a haircut, so he won't be home for quite a while looking at my watch. And um, uh, my mom wasn't real impressed with it. I don't think my dad will be very impressed with it. And I still haven't seen the the guy that has the 67 Chevy. I haven't seen that guy outside. Sometime we're going to probably stop in there and ask him. Uh, I'm going to look at all the car shows I go to, you know, see if I can find something, you know. Because I really like that yellow truck that I showed in the... Um, other video previous to this, but the truck vlog, that's what I call it, truck vlog, and um, I like that yellow truck, it's newer than what I want though, that's the only thing about that yellow truck, is it's newer than what I want, it's so, you know, it started out, I wanted to, uh, start out, I wanted to start, uh, I can't talk, let me try that again, it started out, I wanted a uh, first generation square body Chevy, you know, and then I decided oh, I like the body style before that, you know, the uh, um, 67 to 72 era of Chevy trucks. And I'd take either one of those body style trucks, but uh, I started researching these Studebakers, and um, they're, and then I saw that one at the car show, you know, I was looking it over real good, and. I like those a lot too, but this one just wasn't really the one, um, so I was kind of bummed out about that.
Um, if nothing else, we'll patch the hole in the floorboard in this S10, and I'll put around in it until I uh, figure out, until I find something that I want that, that that I want that my dad likes. I'd have <laughs> my mom and I were talking a few weeks ago, and if it were up to her and I. I'd already have a truck because I have my eye on a truck that I know a guy would sell. Only problem is, let me, yeah, so I'd already have a truck if it was up to my mom and I because I've seen some trucks that some guys have like that one that I was talking about yesterday in Kokomo. That, that rusty one that is there on the other I like that truck a lot. And my dad knows how to work on that truck because, you know, uh, that's what my grandpa's into. So my dad's working on Chevys. He's used to working on Chevys. Um, so, like, that wouldn't be any big deal. My dad just doesn't like it because it's so rusty. And since he doesn't like that truck, I know he's not going to like the, the floorboards in the uh, Studebaker. The, uh, the body on that Studebaker got windy here. The body on that Studebaker was in real good shape. Um, it was real solid. It had a few places on the driver's side uh, down low by the uh, corner of the door, but um, for the most part the body was in good shape. It was... Um, <sighs> it just, I guess, wasn't meant to be. So, so much for that. I wasn't interested in the Ford Econ lines, so that's why I didn't ask the guy about those. The guy had two of them, but I wasn't interested in that. Um, so, I'll find something. Maybe it'll be a Spirit Baker, maybe it'll be a Chevy. It probably won't be a Ford, I like the Fords, but it probably won't be a Ford. Um, it more than likely won't be an International because you can't hardly find the parts for the internationals. And that's not really what I want. You can stick a Chevy engine in the Ford and be okay, but I could also do that with an international. Uh, but around here, nothing really gets done fast enough. That's what my mom and I were laughing about on the way back was if we did buy that Studebaker. My mom said that I'd be lucky to uh, have that truck done by the time I was a senior citizen. <laughs> so, uh, you know, stuff just doesn't happen real quick around here. And, um, you know, we could buy that truck, of course, and take it to somebody and have them do it. But, you know, then we have a bunch of money wrapped up in it. And uh, we don't want to spend a whole lot of money, you know. So, I just keep looking, I guess. If you guys on the internet know of any uh, Studebakers that are like seven grand or below, tell me, tell me in the comments. If you see any on the internet or any in Indiana, just stick it in the comments below, cause. I'm out of I'm out of places to look. I've searched the internet. I've searched, you know, the car places and the marketplaces and the uh, um, eBay and Craigslist and all the other sites like that, you know, and uh, ClassicCars.com. I've searched all of them uh, for well, first for the '67 Chevy and then for the uh, Studebaker. And uh, the Studebaker, I can't seem to find a whole lot of... Everybody out west thinks they're real rare. Um, see, they're, the Studebakers were made in uh, South Bend, Indiana. And so you see if uh, more of them around here than they do out west. Are they that rare? Not around here. But that's just because a lot of them stayed close to home, you know, I, I mean, I guess that's how you'd want to word that, um, and I'm going to say with the way that the body was in good shape on that uh, Studebaker that I looked at, 
but the floor pan was bad and the under basically the whole undercarriage of the truck was bad I'm gonna say that it was probably parked out in a field you know with like tall grass around it because uh, that'll do that to it that tall uh, truck sitting in tall grass for a long time that's why I try to keep the grass cut around the uh, black step side that I have uh, over at my grandparents well it's actually my that's my uncle's truck. My uncle passed away. It's my dad's, or not my dad's, so it's kind of my grandpa's truck. I guess more I'd say it's my grandma's truck. She has a say uh, what to do with it. And uh, if it was up to my grandpa, he'd have probably gotten rid of it by now. Um, my grandma won't let him get rid of it. And that's a good thing, because it's my step. And the reason that's not a good candidate for, um, let me get out of the wind. The reason that's not a good candidate for um, uh, me to have is because that truck ran, well first off it doesn't run anymore, but the truck ran like crap when it did run, and um, uh, it's not any better than the uh, S10 over there, you know, so, whatever, I'll keep looking. I'll find something eventually. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good day. Uh, keep me posted if you see